Yo, 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 what is up, Diamond family? It's your man, VB, and welcome back to the VBS Academy. As you guys know, I'm here every week dropping off gems, teaching you to record and mix your music better. So if that sounds good to you, stick around. Look, man, I got a really crazy video for you guys today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys what I think is the most underrated stock plugin in Pro Tools. This one is a game changer. I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to use it on your vocals and on your mix overall. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you one other plugin that's also super underrated in Pro Tools. So if you're ready for that, let's dive right in, man. I won't even over talk it, but look, if you're struggling to get your vocals to sit inside the beat and balance themselves out perfectly every single time, you've gotta check out my free course down below, man. This balance course is gonna teach you my simple technique for balancing out the vocals and the beat perfectly every single time. It takes about 15 minutes, it's completely free. So make sure that you check that out down below. Now look, man, that's all I really got. Let's dive into the track. I'll play it back and we'll show you this plug in. Let's get it. Always been the man that you can't hold. Cause the value of my heart is double two chains gold. My boot thing knows won't be a time of truth thing told. I was born to murder tracks, just call me Usain Bolt. Uh, yeah, that shit cathartic. Unapologetic. All right, bet. So as you can hear, the song already sounds great, man, because it's already pretty much mixed. It's already pretty much done. But I discovered this plugin and I'm like, yo, why have I never used this before? And it is the Maximizer. The Maximizer that comes with Pro Tools is crazy. And I'm going to show you just how much it's doing. So let's bypass it and listen to the track without it. Always been the man that you can't hold Cause the value of my heart is double two chains gold My boo thing knows, won't be a time the truth ain't told I was born to murder tracks, just call me Usain Bolt uh. Let's go the other way, let's bring it back Always been the man that you can't hold Cause the value of my heart is double two chains gold My boo thing knows, won't be a time the truth ain't told I was born to murder tracks, just call me Usain Bolt uh. Cool, so this plugin Obviously, it added some volume and made the track louder, but it also added some clarity, it added some control, and it added some saturation, all with one plugin, and it's free, it's stock. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up and how you should use it. So what I'll do here is, um, let's just go back to the de default preset, and it says zero. So you really only got two major controls to worry about using this plugin. I like to mess with the threshold and the ceiling. I'll either release where it is, just so that it, it stays transparent. Um, if we start to mess with the, re the release, we can start to hear the plugin more if you're not really really well versed you're not really comfortable using the plugin you don't really know you know what what to what to do with it and so if you keep the release at one at one millisecond it'll keep things pretty transparent you won't hear the plugin as much which is a good thing so I also keep the mix at 100% wet but you can play with this you can move it you know left or right however you need to to get the sound that you're looking for so let's focus on the threshold and the ceiling you'll notice that as I adjust this threshold control you're gonna see something happen over here so watch Always been the man that you can't hold Cause the value of my heart is double two chains gold My boo thing knows, won't be a time the truth thing told I was born to murder tracks, just call me Usain Bolt Uh, yeah, that shit cathartic Unapologetic, not a kid, ain't sorry I'm finna do what's best for me I might be selfish, but I'm on a self-love kick And I can't help it, bitch and honestly, more or less, I forgot to take note of the settings. So I think this is where we were before. Um, somewhere in that seven range. And I think the ceiling is at negative one. So I like to put the ceiling at negative one because I, it gives us more space so that we don't clip. So the, the signal may go over this, but if we have it set to zero, it's, it'll absolutely clip. But if we set our ceiling a little bit lower, it kind of helps us and prevents us from clipping. All right, so this is how I would use this on my actual mix bus, right? So I'll put this, well, actually I have it on my master fader. Um, I will usually use the clipper from initial audio but this is kind of doing the same thing and I think it sounds really great so when I use this on my on my mix bus or on my master fader it really adds that volume and it gets the song loud and professional and punchy to where I want it to be but I also can use the same tool on my vocals and use it just like a regular compressor so watch what I did here now first I started off with another stock plugin that's that's a pretty good one and it's just this EQ um, it's a focus right EQ I won't even really go into it then we've got some compression going here I'll just show you the settings of everything I use before we get to the maximizer always been the man that you can't hold cause the value of my heart is double two chains gold my boo thing knows won't be a time the truth ain't told if you notice what I'm showing you is I cut um, this 80 hertz, I cut it by 1.6, and then this 12K, I just boost it by 1.3. And I'm kind of rethinking this boost here, so I'm gonna bring it back a little bit because I think the vocal might be getting a little harsh. Um, but anyway, from there we went to compression. 
Always been the man that you can't hold Cause the value of my heart is double two chains gold My boo thing knows, won't be a time the truth ain't told I was born to murder tracks, just call me Usain Bolt and you always know when you're using the 1176, if you're not sure where to start, just go with the fastest attack and the slowest release. The fastest attack is all the way to the left. The slowest release is all the way to the right. And from there, just mess with the input and output until you're getting somewhere between 5 to 10 dB of gain reduction, depending on the sound that you're going for. That's a great place to start if you don't really know a whole lot about compression, specifically the 1176. If you keep it at the fastest attack and the slowest release and aim for that 5 to 7 dB, be of game reduction you'll get a pretty solid sounding vocal without over compressing and without really sounding like you don't know what you're doing there's an ambulance going on so if you set up your compressor at the fastest attack and the slowest release it's going to prevent you from doing kind of too much compression or doing something that's going to ruin your vocal it's going to stay pretty transparent and still do some controlling work for you so if you're not that well versed at using compression specifically the 1176 just start with the fastest attack and the slowest release all right so after the compression we went with some more eq just to cut out and clean up some of the low end frequencies as you can see here and let's hear it Always been the man that you can't hold Cause the value of my heart is double two chains gold My boo thing knows, won't be a time the truth ain't told I was born to murder tracks, just call me Right, so we got that compression, I'm sorry, we got that EQ dialed in just to clean up some of the low end frequencies. And then we followed it up with the Arvox. The Arvox is a great compressor because not only does it control and compress the vocal, but it adds some saturation. Um, it, it helps the vocal to sound like a vocal. That's why it's a vocal specific compressor. Um, and so I like to use this compressor and get some gain reduction from it. You can see we're getting a pretty good amount. Always been the man that you can't hold Cause the value of my heart is double two chains gold My boo thing knows, won't be a time the truth ain't told I was born to murder tracks, just call me Usain Bolt uh. Cool, as you can see we're getting some pretty solid compression there And then we grabbed the maximizer Now the maximizer in this instant instance i used it more like a compressor so we're just trying to get a little bit of gain reduction on the peaks and so we're going to adjust our threshold until we start to see it actually doing some work right so watch always been the man that you can't hold because the value of my heart is double two chains gold my boo thing knows won't be a time the truth ain't told i was born to murder tracks just call me usain bow uh yeah that shit cathartic Unapologetic, not a kidding, sorry. And you can hear that as we overdo it, you just get more grit and more saturation and more color added to the vocal. So it is doing a tiny, tiny bit of gain reduction, a tiny bit of control, but what it's really doing is adding more saturation, more grit, and more kind of cut to the vocal. It's really helping it to shine through. All right, so I just ended this off with a de -esser. You guys know what a de -esser is. It just cuts out the S's. Um, and that's how I ran this vocal, man. When you want to get some color, some punch, some saturation, and some volume out of your signal, the maximizer, completely free in stock, is a great place to start. So I know I showed you, told you you guys i show you one more underrated plugin in pro tools and that's this one right here it's called the lo-fi and i like to use this on vocals on the ad lib specifically so i'm going to mute out the lead vocal and just play what the ad lib sound like and I'll, I'll boost them so that we can kind of exaggerate the effect um let's hear what it sounds like So what you're hearing is not just the kind of phone filter that we're used to from trap vocals, but this is adding a little bit more bite to it. Um, and what the lo-fi plugin is actually doing is one, it's down sampling it. So it's reducing the sample rate. So it's making it, simply put, it's not as clear. Right, it's making it a little bit fuzzier, a little bit low fire, a little bit lower quality. And from there, I'm just adding a little bit of saturation to the vocal as well. And that's how we're getting that crunch and getting that bite and that texture from our background vocals. And look, man, these plugins are all included and they come with Pro Tools. These are the tips I'm giving you guys week in and week out. And if you need a little bit more help, drop me a line down below, man. My name is VV and I'm here for you. Remember to stay humble, make diamonds only. Peace been the man that you can't hold cause the value of my heart is double two chains gold my boo thing knows won't be a time the truth ain't told i was born to murder tracks just call me usain bolt uh yeah that shit cathartic unapologetic not a kidding sorry